I'm miserable now. This song, standard tuning. Now in the actual recording, it's playing with a capo on the second fret. I don't want to teach you with it. So he plays with the capo on the second fret and plays everything two frets further up than I'm going to tell you. I'm not going to show it to you with the capo because I think it's annoying teaching songs that are way up here with the capo down here because all the fret numbers are confusing and I don't want to mess with it. First thing we need is this introduction, which comes up again later in the song too. Introduction starts with an E major seven, then we go to a si and then we go to a fret, and then a fret. So C, E major seven. Pointer finger on the seventh fret of the second string from the top. Ring finger plays the ninth fret on the third string from the top. Middle finger plays the eighth fret on the third string from the bottom. And then pinky plays the ninth fret on the second string from the bottom. It would be great if you get your pointer finger to also push down on the bottom string in this little bar chord. As far as bar chords go, this one's not that bad. Try not to play the top string. E major seven chord. Just do a nice gentle strum that chord is so good. Then you're going to take this exact same shape. You're going to move it one, two, three, four frets back. So now your pointer fingers on the third fret. So that means we've got three, five, four, five, and then the base of your pointer finger going down there. You get three on the bottom. C major seven chord. Then B minor. Sorry, I've got, I've got food in my my teeth, as always. We're gonna play a B minor seven chord. B minor seven, you have your pointer finger on the second fret of the second string from the top. Ring finger on the fourth fret of the third string from the top. Your pointer finger needs to smash down on that second fret completely. A lot of strength required from your pointer finger in this song. Middle finger plays third fret on the second string from the bottom. And that's it, B minor seven. Just playing those, those bottom five strings, guys. And then finally, we get to the mother of all chords, the crazy A9 chord. I think it's an A9. Yeah, we're gonna call it an A, no, sorry, A add nine. Um, so here's how we do this. Top string is muted with your thumb. The A string, second string from the top is open. Ring finger, seventh fret on the third string from the top. Middle finger, sixth fret on the third string from the bottom. And the bottom two strings are gonna be open. And that's the chord. Let's play those first four chords really slowly. So it's this one, then this one, then this one, then finally up to that one. Now, something you could keep in mind, when you move from the B minor seven chord up to that crazy A add nine chord, your ring finger can just glide along. Wait a minute. Your ring finger can stay on the same string the entire time. Look, ring finger, boom, boom, boom. Boom! Ring finger is your guiding light through this whole part. There is a guiding light that never goes out. The Smiths. That was a reference. One, two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three, four. Oh, two, three, four. Boom. Two, three, four. Boom. Two, three, four. Now, right after the fourth beat of holding this out, one, two, three, four. Do a quick little down up. So one, two, three, four. Now, keep those fingers there, but put your pointer finger on the fifth fret of the second to bottom string, and you're gonna go like this. Let's see. I think we're going with the pointer finger down. So now we've got seven, six, and five. You're gonna go down, up, down, up. Great. Then get rid of your pointer finger and strum down. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're doing down, up, down, up, down, down, up. So with the pointer for the first four, down, up, down, up, and then go down, down, up without the pointer finger. So, Ooh, that's good, that's good. We're going down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Then put your pointer finger back and go down, up, down, and then come up with your pointer finger off the string. So watch this, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then finally, with the pointer finger off, you go up, down, up. It's confusing, I know, but let's play it all the way through that, just that little part right there together. One, two, three, four. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, 
down, up, up, down, up. That make any sense? And a one, two, here we go. And down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Fantastic. Then you're just gonna slide those fingers two frets up. So your ring finger's on the ninth fret, middle finger's on the eighth fret. Then you're gonna get your pointer finger to go onto the seventh fret of the second to bottom string. You play the exact same rhythm. You're just two frets up. Pointer finger does the same thing. And that's, that's how you do it, guys. And that's the entire introduction. Let's play the whole introduction together somewhat slowly. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four, yeah, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and a down, up, down, up, down, down, up, ba, da, ba, 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 da, ba, ka, ba, ba, ka, ba. Do those two chords again. Notice I was muting the top two strings with my thumb for that whole last part. You don't have if you play. Okay, if you don't mute the second string from the top, but you really, really, really would like to try to mute the top string with your thumb. If you just can't do it, then be really careful with your strumming. Just aim for the bottom like three strings, and that way, even when you inevitably hit some extra strings, it'll be okay. That's how you play the world famous intro to Heaven, Heaven Knows I'm Miserable Now by the Smites. Uh, that'd be great if we could just call it a day there, but we gotta learn the rest of the song, guys. And henceforth, we play the verse to the song. It starts with an E major 7 chord. The same chord that we started with at the very beginning of the intro. On this chord, you're gonna strum down, and then up, and then immediately after strumming up, you're just gonna smack your fingers down on the strings and cut off the sound. So it goes like that. Pretty cool, right? I'm pretty cool. You're, we're all cool. Cool cool kids only. Or dorks and not cool kids allowed. Every, every, friends and relatives, welcome. My name's Stuart. Uh, you can buy, I have a link uh, to an affiliate link for a capo. I know we're not using it right now, but you do ultimately want to use it for the song. So support the channel, click on the link, buy a capo. Makes great stocking stuffers. It is currently March, March 29th. One, two, three. Four. Fantastic. Then you're just gonna strum down on this chord one more time. So we go just like that. Down, up, down. Oh, okay. Then get rid of your pinky and play it again. So that's great. That's so good. Then we're gonna go to a C sharp minor chord. This is how you do that. Your pointer finger plays the ninth fret on the bottom three strings. It's kind of like a little half bar chord. And then your ring finger has to reach over those bottom three strings and play the 11th fret on the third string from the top. And then what would be fantastic is if you could use your thumb to mute the top couple strings. You could also maybe use your middle finger to do it. I use my thumb. If you just don't want to do it at all, you can just be really careful not to play those top two strings. As always, you're going to play the same rhythm on this chord. But then you're gonna add your pinky to the 12th fret of the second to bottom string for the final strum. So that's, see that? So from the beginning of the verse, we've got, great. Then you're gonna play an F sharp minor seven. That's pointer finger plays the ninth fret on the second string from the top and it smashes down onto all of those bottom five strings. Middle finger plays 10 on the second to bottom string, and ring finger plays 11 on the third string from the top. You're just gonna strum this chord once, and then you're gonna go back to the C sharp minor chord. Now notice your ring finger, once again, does not need to move when you switch those chords. We just go pow, pow, then we go back to our crazy A chord from the beginning. This is where it was pointer finger on the fifth fret of the second to bottom string, middle finger on the sixth fret of the thirds from the bottom string, and then ring finger on the seventh fret of the third from the top, and you're gonna go. So that was the same rhythm. Then you're gonna strum down on that chord one more time, and then one more time, so two more times. And then 
slide it two frets up, kind of like we did in the intro. Oh, that was sloppy. Then after you get up to here, you're gonna release your pointer finger and strum it one more time. So that's... So good. Let's play the whole verse so far. We pretty much just learned the verse. One, two, three, four. Pinky. Boom. So good. Then you start the verse over again. So that means you go back to this. That was terrible. Forgive me. The only difference with the second time through the verse is instead of going, we just go, you just stay on the A chord. It's an A, it's an A. I know it doesn't look like an A, but it is, believe it or not. And then we move on to the chorus of the song. I'm like 25% sure I remember how to play the chorus. This is when he sings, in my life. I, I thought I could do a Morrissey impression, but I just can't in my life is what he sings here. We start with the E major seven chord. Now, Johnny Marr, the guitarist, gets a little bit more rhythmic. We're just gonna keep the same basic rhythm pattern going that we've been already doing. But as you get more comfortable with it, you know, feel free to add some more chicka chickas in there as you're playing it. E major seven. Same thing where you go, then get rid of the pinky. Then you're going to go immediately to our crazy A and you're gonna go, so you're gonna go ba ga da ba ba ba. So that same little A slide up to B thing. So we've got in my life. That was a much better impression, I have to say. We go back to the E major seven again. We go back down to the A, but this time we're gonna go. Wait, so the rhythm starts the same. Down, up, down. No, it's different. No, it's the same. Uh, this is helpful. Wow, golly gee whiz. I really need to learn this song before I try to teach it. After that, we go back to the E major seven again. We do the same thing. I think I messed up, whatever. We go back to the A chord, but this time we're not gonna slide up to B. We just go. So we did the same little rhythmic thing, but then we go to this guy, which is a G sharp minor. This is where you bar the bottom three strings on the fourth fret, and then ring finger plays the sixth fret on the third string from the top. I think we just play that once. We go, yeah. Then we go to the world famous C sharp minor seven chord. This one is pointer finger on the fourth fret of the second string from the top, bars the bottom five strings, ring finger plays six on the third string from the top, and then middle finger plays five on the second string from the bottom. We're gonna do our classic rhythm. Then we go back to the G sharp minor again. So that's just like that. And then, oh, I gotta know, I think we probably, after the G sharp minor, then we're gonna go up to an F sharp minor seven. We've already done this chord, but let me show you again, because we've got a lot of chords with sharps in the title, and a lot of sevens, it's confusing. Pointer finger plays nine on the second string from the top, bars the bottom five, middle finger plays 10 on the second string from the bottom, ring finger plays 11 on the third string from the top. We do, for this one, we go, just a whole bunch of strumming out. We go bum, get it, bum, ba, ba, down, up, up, down, ba, wa, get it, bum, ba, ba. And, uh, look, just play with me. Just that one part. One, two, three, four, ba, da, ba, 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 or something like that. It doesn't matter that much. It's got a very Cindy Loppery sound to it to me. More like Cindy Lopper as a Smith sound. I don't know who's first, the chicken or the Cindy Lopper, or the Smiths. Could have been any of them. After that, we go back to our, that was our little A, the fifth, five, six, seven. Then you slide it up to seven, eight, nine. And then you get rid of the pointer finger. That same thing we've done. You're getting used to it. And then finally, we finish off the chorus with a, so what that is, is I've got my same old A chord again. I'm good, down, up. I do that little thing, a down, up, mute, down. Then we go to the G sharp minor. 
And then that's the end of the chorus and it is time for our solo. We're gonna be on the ninth fret of the second to bottom string with your ring finger and ninth fret on the third string from the bottom with your middle finger. You're gonna play just those two strings. Then you're gonna slide those backwards one fret to the eighth fret, but then get rid of your ring finger and put your pointer finger on the seventh fret. So that was nine and nine going to eight and seven. And then you slide that two frets to six and five. So it was, oh, I messed up. Then you just do it again. Now here's a little, a little hack, a little guitar hack. You can have your pinky and your ring finger grab onto the bottom string. They'll guide your pick to where you want to be. And it'll make sure that you don't accidentally hit that bottom string because it'll be muted. So we go. Now, if you want to get all fancy with it, you could have these little ghost notes, which is between each one of these notes. You could do a little muted pluck. That was pretty bad, but you know what I mean. You don't have to do it. Forget I said anything. It was, it was a stupid idea. We go blank, 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 blank. Then you're going to play this one, the five and six one again, but you hold it out. And then we go up to nine on the second string from the bottom, eight with the pointer finger on the third from the bottom, and then nine on the third from the top with the middle finger. Okay, so we just did blow, blow. Then finally, end of the little solo part is you play 14 on the bottom three strings. On an electric guitar, you could use one finger pretty well. On acoustic, I can't really reach very well. So I'm using three fingers. Play 14, 14, 14, you play. And then you play 14, slide up to 15, then up to 16. So that was blank, 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 blank. No, 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 no. One, two, here we go. And blank, 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 blank. And then back to 14. And that's the end of the solo. All right, we're doing one more part. The second verse, okay, look, each time he plays the verse, he does something a little bit differently. Like after the first verse, uh, sometimes he gets a lot more rhythm. I don't want to go over every single little rhythm. I don't want to learn every little lead thing that he does. I have things, I have telephone calls to make today, guys. I have, I have very important telephone calls to make. So I can't be learning every single little thing for you every day of my life. So let me just show you, let me just show you what he does for the second verse. He plays a cool little thing. I have a cheat sheet here because I don't remember what all the notes are. Put the pointer finger on the fourth fret of the third string from the bottom. Put your middle finger on the fifth fret of the second string from the bottom. You're gonna play third from the bottom, then second from the bottom, then the bottom. I recommend you pluck down, down, up. It's always up on that bottom string for something like this. So we've got, and then you go right back to the second string from the bottom. So that was bing, bong, bang, bong. Then we're gonna play the same notes with a little bit of a different rhythm. So we go slow, 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 fast, fast. Ugh. Fast, 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 slow, fast, fast. That's it. So here, just I'm gonna stop talking and just play it for you. It goes. You see that? I'm going third from the bottom, second from the bottom, ba, ba. Then I go, ba, ba, ba. I'm going third from the bottom, second from the bottom, back to the third from the bottom. Then jump down to the bottom. Great. Then take your ring finger, put it on the sixth fret of the third string from the bottom and do the exact same thing. Fantastic. Then things have changed a little bit here. We go down to an A chord. You know the A chord? The A chord, there's a bunch of ways to do it. We don't actually need the full A chord in this situation, so I'm not gonna show you the full A chord. Put your ring finger on the second fret of the second string from the bottom, put your middle finger on the second fret of the third string from the bottom, and you're gonna go. Uh, it's gonna go, the rhythm is gonna be like fast, slow, fast. Uh, or slow, fast, whatever. I don't know, they're fast and they're slow. And then your pinky is gonna play the second fret on the bottom string and then play the bottom string open. That's terrible. Listen to this. One more time. One, two, three, four. 
Then you're gonna go. So that was just a one, two, three, and then pinky open second string from the bottom. Then there's one more part. So this right here is you put your f ring finger on the fourth fret of the third string from the bottom, pointer finger on the second fret of the second string from the bottom. You're gonna play the exact same rhythm we played on the first chord. No. So let's, this whole part goes like this. This is a waste of time. That was wrong. Whatever. We learned the intro. That's the cool part. Hey guys, it's me, Stuart. It's the next day. I'm feeling a little better. I think I think we got off on sort of a bad note yesterday where I just sort of stopped in the middle and said everything sucks or something like that. So I decided to come back today and show you the ending really quickly. There's still a bunch of stuff I have not covered in the song because I don't want to. But the very end goes like this. We've got our E major 7 chord. Remember that one? You strum that. Then you go down to the C major 7. That's one where you just move it. One, two, three, four frets back. You strum that. Then you go back up to the E major 7 chord. You strum that again, no problem there. Then we're gonna go to this little chestnut. So this guy, as you put your pinky on the 10th fret of the bottom string, pointer finger on the 8th fret of the 2nd string from the bottom, middle finger on the 9th fret of the 3rd string from the bottom, ring finger on the 10th fret of the 3rd string from the top, just strum those bottom 4 strings. Oh, so, so nice. Then you take that exact same chord shape and you move it one, two frets over. So now your pinky's on 12, pointer's on 10, middle's on 11, ring finger's on 12. You play those bottom four strings and that's how you end the song. It goes, oh, heaven knows I'm miserable now. Oh yeah, heaven knows I'm miserable now. Anyway, that's how you play uh, Heaven Knows I'm Miserable Now by the Smiths on guitar.